Hey, what's up guys? Today my company Ace Towing is at risk of going out of business because my strongest truck broke down with an oversized load in the worst possible place, causing a traffic nightmare in the city. And if I do not deliver this in time, we will lose our contract and go broke. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? So we're doing some work here at our shop. I have to move a couple cars around. Hey Jay, we got an issue with the big truck. Wait, which truck? Uh, the Kenworth. What's wrong with it? Uh, it's stopping every block or so, and now it's it's just stuck in the middle of the road. The engine won't start. Please tell me you already delivered the heavy load, please. Oh nope. no. Oh my god, that needs to be delivered in like an hour. Okay, what's, I know. what's wrong with it? What's wrong? Where are you? Uh, I'm near the hospital, uh, postal 149. 149, oh yeah, yeah. I'll take a look at the engine, but uh, it really doesn't want to start. Let me just take a look and I'll, I'll update you on that. Okay, let me look around the shop and see if I have anything else that could possibly help you out. Do we have any old truck or something? In the worst case scenario, we can call another company. No, we cannot lose the job, man. We're getting paid good money for this. We got to get that drop to the military base. Dang military it. base. Yeah, it has to get dropped off today. We only got like an hour left. All right, guys. Completely forgot I was supposed to deliver it to the military base because of the truck stopping. All right. Um, dang it. Oh, I got bad news, Jay. What's going on? Uh, it's one of the pistons. It's melted. Damn it. Pretty much fused to the uh, block. All right. Um, damn. Are you able to like get it to the side of the road or something, or are you pulled over? Uh, one of the cylinder pretty much melted and fused with the engine block, so the engine's f Oh my god. Alright, I got like no other semi-trucks in the shop right now. Everything's out on jobs, man. Uh, oh, Shoot. that's... Do we have any old trucks or something? I mean, we got that 359, the Pete. Old Reliable? Old Reliable. Um, I think Nathan's working on it, actually. actually. Like, it's, it's not really that reliable anymore. Yo, guys, can this do oh, wait, it? You said Nathan's working on it? Yeah, I don't even know where he's at right now. He's probably sleeping somewhere. I, I don't even know, but he's he's supposed to be doing a full rebuild on this thing. Engine and everything? Yeah, it, actu it actually looks like he got the new engine in. I'm taking a look at it now. Let me see if it'll start. The engine is in it, guys. If this yeah, thing well, starts... Yeah, while you check that, I'm going to try to see if... I like it won't move. That's for sure. The engine, the engine's dead. It's destroyed. The Pete is starting. I'm gonna try to pull it out. All right. Let's see if I could come to you. Where are you at again? Uh, postal one four nine near uh, the hospital. One four nine. All right. Now, since the other truck isn't starting, I think we should well, probably Dave, bring I'm a tow truck. In the middle of the uh, cross section of Days Avenue. All right. I'm gonna try to be there as fast as I can. All right. I got an idea, guys. If um, we have to tow. Yeah, I'm looking, and even, even the steering wheel seized up, so it, it, the wheel doesn't really want to turn anymore. 10-4, just stay there, try to stall as long as you can, and I'm, I'm just going to try to get there. Yeah, the cops are getting really pissy about this. Yeah, just try to stall them. Yeah, I know. You know I'm not the best with that, but I'll try. Alright guys, so my idea is to bring a tow truck and tow the Kenworth with that and then tow it. Pre pretty much we're going to tow this to the scene, switch out the trucks, and we'll let John tow this back to the shop and I, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but let's get this thing loaded up. And no, they, got, they got four rows blocked because of this, so they're, they're really not happy about this. Oh my god, you're blocking traffic too? Yeah, no, it, it just immediately stopped in the middle of the road. Wouldn't start anymore. Oh my god, this isn't good. Okay, so guys, we're gonna take this to the scene. We're gonna switch it out with the Kenworth, and then we're gonna try to see if this can haul the heavy load. When did you buy this truck, by the way? Um, I mean, it's a new truck, but we have been running it pretty hard lately. I'm not gonna lie, it's been on like running every day. It's true, even in the mountains. Remember that? Yeah, it's probably the due windmill. for some maintenance, honestly. Well, I'm going to be fair with you. It needs a new engine. It's not maintenance anymore. I think it's more a rebuild of the engine. Oh, damn. All right. I'm on my way. Like, I'm looking, and the piston pretty much wrecked everything. This is not good. Not good at all. You could probably take most of the pieces out and, uh, and still use them. They're pretty good. It's the piston and the engine block itself. They're gone. 
Oh, we got the green light. Oh, look at this. This is a lot of traffic. Okay, um, can we even get around this? Uh, there's no space, but I can go on coming. All right, I'm on scene. I'm coming. All right. Damn. Yeah, oh, you know it. what? This we're right in front of the sheriff department. So we got the sheriffs in here. State troopers are doing the escort. Oh man. All right. How about you grab the Pete? And uh, oh man, this this is stressful. I know. Yeah, you could um. <laughs> that's a nice coat you got out there. <laughs> yeah, it was the only one that I had at home. Uh, <laughs> help you don't get it dirty. Um, yeah, you take that, and I'm gonna see if I can attach to the Kenworth. Man, I don't even have any oversized load placards or flags on the feet, but it's just gonna have to do. All right, get that down. Well, you might need to I, move the truck forward. I didn't leave you no space. I apologize. Don't worry about it. But yeah, talking about the coat, I really need to, to buy another one. This is not even mine. So, who coat are you wearing? Uh, it's it's one of my family members, actually. It looks like a pretty nice coat. Like, I was actually worried that you're going to get it dirty. Oh, working it's pretty on the comfy. It, if it breaks, I'll, I'll, I'll give him some money to buy a new one. All right. Let me get that Kenworth. Got that done, so. Yeah, try to keep stalling the cops, man. Yeah, and I think the trailer, okay, and the trailer is good. Alright, so we're gonna get attached to this and let's start winching it up. This is a pretty big load. It honestly barely fits on Just here. Give me a call if you need me, I'm right behind the truck. Up, up, we're going sideways. Come on, need to go the other way. Mike got some more bad news, Jay. What? I can't take anything else. They're giving us 20 minutes to do this. All right, we're gonna have to just make it work. Yep. Does not like that. Yeah, it sits a little low. It's actually squatting a bit, but hopefully it'll work. So, John, um, how about this? You take take this back to the shop and yeah. see what you can do with it. Um, I'll, I'll take over this heavy load so I can just try to make sure it gets there on time. Um, yep. And yeah, we'll just go from there. Do we have any engine parts at uh, the shop? No, or we're, it, we're probably gonna have to. Off? We're probably gonna have to order some stuff for this. Yeah, I'll take the time to call the company, I guess. Yeah, I'll I'll get back to you. Let me just knock out this load, and we'll figure out something. Go nuts with it. All right, come on. Old reliable. Let's check all the gauges. Back at the shop. Everything looks good. Do a quick tug test. And uh, yeah, it's hauling it. Okay, I think we're gonna be good, guys. I'm gonna just look over the load, make sure everything's good, and then we should be good to go. So, chains are on, lights are on. Back here, we have lights, we have chains, we have flags. Everything is perfect. The only thing we got no beacons on our truck, it doesn't really matter though. We are supposed to have like you know, oversized load on the front, but that's fine. We'll, we'll be okay, I'm sure. To, police just wants us to get out of here i mean we're blocking the hospital we're blocking the road there's traffic everywhere so let's stop talking let's get to the action hey man hey what's what? going on what's going on here we had some issues with the other truck I, I apologize about that but we got we got this one here this should be able to handle it without a problem man you said that we would be there 30 minutes ago I have other things I have to go take care of, and you're holding it all up. My, my bad, man. I, I apologize. You know, the weather was kind of cold, and uh, I guess the truck, something was acting up. Pistons, I don't even know, but I'm sorry about that. Let's just get this on the road, man, because, I, like I said, I got other things I need to go do. All right, I'll follow you. I'm ready when you are. Freaking bull crap, man. Oh, man, he is upset. All right, well, at least we got this truck here. And uh, yeah, we have a ways to go today. So we're taking a route all the way up here. All right, here we go. So since he's a little mad about time, I guess he's going to maybe, yep, we're going straight through the lights. Perfect, fine with me. I was gonna let them do their thing here. Get out in front, lock the roads. 
And we are clear to proceed. Looking good. Oh, you know, we don't have the height truck. I hope this is gonna fit. Uh, we're cutting it close here. Yep, we're looking good. Watch out for those lights. And this, we are barely fitting it. All right, we're clear. Now we're gonna go through the center of town. Gotta watch out for these lights. Yeah, this thing is like just barely clearing the lights and clearing the overpasses. Any higher, we'll need to take a different route, but I think we're gonna be good on this one. All right, right side is clear, left is clear, we're going through. I'm gonna have to take it slow here. We got a low overpass. I think we're good. Are we good? Yeah, we got plenty of space. Uh -oh. oh, oh. Thought he was about to try to drive underneath. That's some fast and the furious. All right, so far everything is going nice and smooth. And we can get a good shot at this beam here. This thing is massive. Clear left, or clear right. Left side's clear. We are rolling through. Come on, traffic, move out the way. We got places to be. Oh, oh, no, no. You can't go there. Oh my God. Tell him this isn't the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> it was a guy under the truck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stay to the right so y'all can pass. I got a green light. We can continue on. Oh! Hey! hey. Bro! Can't just slam on my brakes with this thing. This is a heavy load here. Left side's clear, right is clear, and we are hitting it up the hill. Now our waypoint is set here, but we actually are continuing all the way to the military base. And I cleared everything. Troopers are doing a great job keeping traffic under control, and I say we are probably about halfway there at this point. Struggling a little bit on this hill, but so far she's holding up. What is that noise? This guy's flashing me, beeping. There's nowhere to go, man. You gotta wait. I got a troublemaker behind me. Uh, it's for, if he passes you, I'll pull him over. You gotta be kidding me. There's an accident up ahead. Oh. oh, that red car. Okay, we just had another accident in front of us. Did a vehicle just go flying? Yeah, that guy who was behind me, he tried to swerve around and he hit somebody. I don't even know. I'm going to try to move my truck out the way. Holy. This cannot be happening. It right, looks like the sheriff was already on scene of an accident, but what happened over here? Is the guy okay? Uh, sir, sir, please, please go back over, oh, over to your truck. Sorry, sir. I'll stay over here. Damn, that's unfortunate. Well, now the delivery is going to get delayed again, but this time it, it was not my fault at all. So you can either wait here or you can proceed without... Uh, any law enforcement, but uh, we I gotta stay here and so does my partner whenever he gets up to us. Oh, okay, no problem. Um, you want me to call in a tow truck for you guys? Looks like y'all may need a couple here. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go go ahead and call EMS. Okay, hope everybody's okay. Hey, uh, John, come in. Yep, what's going on, Jay? Yeah, we, we got a problem. Truck's down? 
Oh no, truck is fine, but we got a, a big wreck here on uh, grid 911, believe it or not. What happened? Um, well, there was already an accident here, but then some idiot came by and crashed into the accident. We're gonna need a couple tow trucks out here. Why don't oh. you bring one? Uh, I can bring one tow truck, but sadly the other one already in mission. Yeah, I'll see if I can get some more people out here. Let's see. Is everyone in the crash all right? I'm not sure, man. It's it's not looking too good, but I gotta I gotta stay back. All right. Well, uh, I'll do my way. All right. Cool. Yeah, we're probably gonna need a couple trucks here. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple trucks. Um, a uh, J to Cletus coming. Cover Cletus. Cletus, you you busy right now? You got a job? Nah, boss. What's going on? All right, man. I need you to grab a truck and meet me at 911 Tonga Drive. We got a big wreck out here. Man, that, that's a pretty long drive. It is. Just get here when you can. I'll see what I can do. John Brown to Jake. Coming. I'm almost there. Should be here in, in 10 minutes or so. 10. Sounds like the fire department's on their way in. Right, let's see. How many tow trucks are we going to need? One, two, three. Here comes heavy rescue. Hello. Hey, what's going on, partner? Hey, we got a um, couple people got hurt. There's a trooper over there. He could probably fill you in a little more, but I think that guy in the in the Mustang, he tried to overtake us and ended up hitting another car. Oh, shit. Okay. What's going on, trooper? What's up, buddy? Um, So pretty much we have that, that guy there. He was hit unconscious. Pretty sure he's deceased. Then we had that guy back there that tried overtaking. He has a head injury. I pulled him out of the vehicle, tried giving him CPR and all that. Okay. Just the two? Uh, yeah. One was in the river, but he floated all the way down there. I wasn't able oh, to stop shit. him. Oh, God. Swift so. water rescue. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, this is crazy. Hopefully they survive, but it, it's not looking good if we're being honest, man. Did they make it? Unfortunately not. Both are going to be deceased. Oh, we have man. a third victim that was lost in the river. Oh, no. Yeah. That's going to probably require some type of water rescue. I hope they find them. Yeah, I'm going to have to call uh, Lido. They're the nearest uh, swift water rescue team. Gotcha. All right. Well, I should have a truck on scene soon to at least move the stuff out the way for you guys while you have the right. investigation. All right, sounds good. Appreciate it. Yep, thank you. Hey, uh, John, how far out on you? Uh, I should be here, I think, in two minutes. Give me a minute. Say it was near Postal 911, right? That's correct. Uh, you could come in whenever you get in. They're going to be doing an investigation, but they just want you to move the cars to the side of the road for now. Oh, yeah, I see it. All right, truck number one is on scene. What the hell happened here? Yeah, uh, it's a lot. Hey, Cletus. Hey, you could probably uh, grab maybe that Camaro. And then we got the second truck with John. If you want to spin around, you could try to hit the... Or whichever one you want to take. I'd take the blue truck. I think that's a good idea. John, not that cold again. You gonna get the thing dirty. Look. I don't care about this go. Oh, I just, I just, I'm, I know I want it. I need to buy another one. Just leave me alone with it, please. Hey, you can buy another one. There we got one. We just should have the second one. So I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go drop off this load. I'm gonna have to do the rest without an escort, but shouldn't be too bad. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, I think it's just really down here and make one or two turns. Let's go. Be careful on the road, okay? Don't be an accident yourself. Yeah, everybody's been crazy today. Yeah, Cletus, you can just move it to the side of the road and they'll do the investigation. But once they're ready, they'll let you know. Our boss. All right, I'll see you later. I'm going to go drop this truck off. All right, guys, so let's hop in old reliable and get going. We're on our own now.
All right, guys, we are leaving the accident scene, and like I was saying, we're pretty much on our own for the rest of the trip, but shouldn't be much of a problem since there's only two turns and there's literally nothing. Whoa, that can go wrong unless that guy <laughs> hit us. That was actually kind of close. This guy too, why are you guys turning into the yellow lane? Come on, give me some space. But yeah, guys, let's check the time. It is currently two o'clock. And we need to get this thing delivered within the next couple of minutes or we're gonna be late. Uh, we really got about an hour, but you know, we wanna have this thing delivered on time. Wait a minute, whoops. Oh no, come on, come on, stop playing with me. We're literally right here. The military base is right here. Come on, come on, yo. Come on, we gotta make it, we gotta make it, we gotta make it. Hurry up, bike, I gotta cut this turn, I gotta cut it, gotta cut it, come on, come on, come on. What is happening? Yo, come on. Oh, oh, and you're gonna hit me, even worse. Yo, the truck just completely cut off, guys. In the middle of the road. Now we're blocking a county road, and these people, hey, can you, can you stop, yo. Oh my goodness, bro, stop hitting my truck. Come on, chill, bro, wait, hey, 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 hey. All right, I'm not gonna take that, man. You, you're gonna have to hop out and talk to me like a man. You can't be hitting my truck. You gotta chill out, bro. You gotta chill out, hey, hey. Oh my God, come on, man. Come on, man. You don't, you're not a, oh shoot, I thought I had a gun on me. I thought I had a gun. I thought I had a gun. Um, shit. I gotta just take care of business. Come on. Oh, okay, we good? All right, man. Get back in your car and drive away. Yo, John, come in. This is Jay. I got a little bit of a problem. Uh, the 359, we broke down. We're on Route 68. I'm kind of blocking traffic. They're freaking out. Um, see how fast you can get to the shop. I need the heavy record to try to tow me in the rest of the way. Just see how fast you can do it and get here as fast as you can. I'm, I'm literally right in front of the military base. Oh my god, what time is it now? It is now 3 o'clock already, guys. Alright, so we gotta get this in there, like, ASAP before 4, so hopefully we get a tow truck here as soon as possible, and it could just pull us the rest of the way. Oh, great, the cops are here. Now this is going from bad to worse. Yeah, he he doesn't look happy. I, I, I. What are we gonna do, guys? Alright, we gotta come up with something to try to stall him before John gets here. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, how's it going, deputy? I am very sorry. My truck broke down, and um, I literally got stuck right here. I'm just, I'm just trying to get inside the military base right there. I do have a tow truck on the way. They should be here in a couple minutes, and I should be able to clear the road. And again, I apologize. Okay, try to get this thing out of the road as soon as possible. Oh, great! Not another one. Now we have two cops on scene. At least they'll help out with blocking traffic and we won't get in any more fights, but yeah, this is not good. Hey, John, we got a uh, traffic backing up and I got two deputies getting mad at me. Yes, he's here just in time. Thank you. Coming in a little hot, but that's what I'm talking about. He must have been hauling to get down to the city and then get back here in time. All right, bring it straight back. You're good, keep coming. And right there. All right, perfect, he's here. First thing we gotta do is put this arm down. And perfect, now we're gonna hook up to the Pete and pull it in. We do not have time, so I'm not even gonna really do this the proper way. I'm just literally gonna hook it and book it and hope we don't break the truck more than it's already broken. I mean, what time is it? It is 3.40, we gotta get this inside very soon. So let's lift it up and perfect. Hey, John, you can release the brakes for me. And okay, we got it. We got the full weight. So let's start pulling it in now. Honestly, this is probably the perfect truck to respond to this call. This thing is a beast, a twin steer. I love this truck. All right, so we have the load coming in. We're just gonna have to kind of get it straightened up. It is very narrow up here, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get it inside. And height-wise, it's gonna be tight. When we uh, 
did the paperwork for this load and we checked it, like this beam is barely gonna fit past the guard post. It should fit though, barely. If, it, if it's too close, we can drop the air pressure in the truck and the trailer and that should give us like another inch or two if we need to. But let's see, it's gonna be very close here. But here we go, Fort Zancudo Air Base. We have the piece that they need. I just need them to open up the door for me. Thank you, and here it goes, the moment. How are we gonna fit, guys? Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. Well, there goes their sign. They should have more, like, stuff. Like, anybody could just drive in here, technically. Where's the guard at? I don't even see the guard. All right, it looks like we're fitting. Barely, but we're fitting. Come on. Wait, wait, why we're not moving? Come on. Wait, what the heck? Oh. Yo, this truck better not break down on me, too. Yo, winter. Everything wants to break down, man. It didn't even start snowing yet. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lost it, lost it. Let's go back. All right, I think we got it. I got a little bit of an incline here. The truck is struggling a little bit, but I mean, honestly, it has. It just needs to pick up some speed, and there we go. We are good to go. All right, so they said there was going to be some cones somewhere. They want me to just park it up near the cones. Let's see if we can figure out where that is. There's no way I'll be able to make that turn, so hopefully it's up here somewhere. Okay, here we go. I see the cones. Let's get on the left side, get around, clear all of that, and cut it back over. Wait, we got one more. We gotta get around this one and then park right here, and then they'll be able to come in and unload it with their equipment. And I would say right here is about good. So let's sit this down. All right, let's do a time check. It is 3.49. That means we delivered this thing in time. Thank God, because if we did not, we would have lost the contract with the government. And you guys know the government pays very well. And without that money that they're paying us, we would pretty much be like going out of business. We really need that money. That shop we bought and all these trucks, they are very expensive. So all the money that we can make definitely helps the bottom line. So uh, yeah, we're going to get this thing unloaded and then I guess we'll get this back to the shop and try to fix it. I'm going to have to call Nathan. Hopefully he can fix it for us. This plus the other truck. I mean, oh man, it's, it's been a rough day, man. Losing two trucks in one day, but let's get this unloaded and let's get out of here. So it took a couple hours to get unloaded. It is now 6 so three but we are unloaded got the trailer connected to each other we have the peterbilt ready to be towed back to the shop so let's get out of here guys and get back to the shop here we go the military guys here were very nice though i mean it took them a while to get that thing lift up they had some interesting equipment to lift it it's pretty cool but um, yeah, very nice. Shout out to everybody that's in the military, everybody who has served. You know, we definitely do appreciate y'all's service and all that good stuff as we take this wide turn to get around that curve. But yeah, this was a, it was a stressful day, but it definitely was a fun day, guys. Got to do a lot of fun driving, got to do some towing. I wasn't even expecting any of that. But let's get out of the base though. Should be much easier this time around. And if you can keep that up for us, that would be nice. Oh, oh, are we gonna break it? Oh, oh, we didn't break it this time. That is perfect. All right, so let's get back to the shop, guys, and I'll see you guys once we get there. All right, guys, we made it back to the shop just before sunset. Uh, come on, stop, 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 stop. I didn't mean to cut them off like that, but I had to cut the turn or else I would have been going into the, taking out the fences and that would have been bad. But yeah, guys, we made it back to the headquarters. That one had dropped 
fall off, but it's okay. We're basically inside. We can pull it the rest of the way. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys thought about it and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what we should do next. But more importantly, click right here to watch me take on another challenge, which is to tow the biggest army trucks in GTA 5. It was crazy. Click to watch and I'll see you guys over there.